What you need to know about Pteranodon, Pterodactyl, and Darwinopterus? Isn't a pterodactyl, alright? It is a Pteranodon, a prehistoric flying reptile that belonged to the pterosaur clade. Information on Pteranodon In what is now the central United States, Pteranodon dinosaurs existed between 86 and 84 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period. In South Dakota, Wyoming, Kansas, Alabama, and Nebraska, more than 1,000 fossils have been discovered. This animal's wingspan might reach 20 feet. One kind has long, pointed wings, whereas the other has smaller wings, a short, rounded crest, and broad hips. These two varieties have both been observed. Scientists first questioned if they were examining two distinct species. They now consider that Pteranodon was hermaphroditic, which indicates that the species males and females had varied appearances. While the ladies most likely had larger hips for carrying and producing eggs, the males most likely had longer wings and crests. Pteranodon, which means toothless wing, describes these carnivorous creatures. They were undoubtedly skilled at diving from the skies to spearfish and other aquatic food from the sea because they possessed long, pointed beaks, their skulls with beaks were longer than the entire rest of their body. They had long, robust wings in addition to being long. At the time, water covered the majority of the land. The majority of their time was presumably spent flying over the ocean, they may have even been able to sleep while doing so. With the exception of when they landed in the water, this technique ensured that they had few predators. The Mosasaur, a huge aquatic beast, was probably dangerous. The majority of animals whose men and females differ in appearance do have larger, more pronounced masculine characteristics, such as vividly colored feathers or skin. One explanation for this may be that males require these displays to draw the attention of females who are already biologically more burdened by carrying and giving birth to children. In other words, women might not be as motivated to locate partners as men. Darwinopterus Darwinopterus inhabited China 160-100 million years ago during the Jurassic period. We have discovered a great deal about biology and evolution from this pterosaur. Information about Darwinopterus Darwinopterus loved meat. Its tiny, razor-sharp teeth indicate that it consumed small animals, reptiles, and insects. Darwinopterus most likely resided in woodlands and hunted for prey by swooping between the trees. Of this animal, ten fossils have been discovered. Some of the fossils had broad hips, while others had narrow hips and a crest on the skull, as discovered by scientists. An egg was remained in the pelvis of one of the fossils with broad hips. The wide-hipped fossilized females were identified by scientists. The male fossils had slender hips. Like snake eggs, Darwinopterus eggs were soft and leathery. To prevent them from drying out, these dinosaurs presumably buried their eggs in the sand. Charles Darwin a renowned scientist who popularized the concepts of natural selection and evolution, is honored with the name Darwinopterus. Given that this pterosaur is a hybrid of two separate pterosaur kinds, it was given the name Darwinopterus. It was built like a rhamphorhynchoid, a genus of pterosaurs with long tails and short legs that existed in the Triassic and Jurassic periods. It resembled a pterodactyloid, a pterosaur that existed later in that it had a huge head and a long neck. Darwinopterus, according to scientists, was an animal that lived in between the two groups of pterosaurs. Animals are constantly evolving and changing, but we rarely find clear evidence of this change. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe at Mdat Officials.